and stuff. Dog, shut up. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing great. Today's video is going to be all my midsummer product empties, May slash June. And I've got mostly skincare, a few makeup, and one personal body care. I want to start off with deodorant. Okay, so what I want to talk about, and this is not sponsored, they don't even know who the hell I am, that's fine. Um, it's called Myro. It's mymyro.com, M-Y-R-O, my Myro. And it's, um, this one, mine, mine's pretty dirty because it's just how I apply the order. They come in these cartridges and I ran through one. It took me like two months to run through it. This one is in Pillow Talk. It comes in those cartridges and it has like a plastic lid over it and you lock it in here. So I went through an entire Pillow Talk one. I believe I'm on Solar Flare. I like this one more. I didn't like the way this one meshed with my body. Um... Basically, you pay 10 bucks your first month, you get the container and the first cartridge. You just pay the 10 bucks, it ships it out to you, and then every three months it's $30 and you can customize which scents you want. It's a harder working formula with fewer ingredients other than deodorants. It's vegan, gluten, soy, and mineral free, aloe based for a soothing, comfortable glide with bacteria neutralizing citrus, probiotics, and sage to keep you smelling great, and natural cornstarch to keep you dry. It is aluminum free and environmentally friendly, and it works for sensitive skin. So I just wanted to mention again that it is a subscription, so every three months you get sent three, it's $30, which I think is pretty reasonable. For me, um, one lasts me two months, so it's like $30 every six months. Yeah, you can pause or stop at any time. They'll send you deodorant pods with the frequency that you like. Delivery dates are up to you. It comes in five different case colors. I mean, the only thing is it doesn't have fragrance free. I tried the Schmitz National Deodorant the charcoal one and it stained my armpits and it made like one of my armpits super itchy and it didn't work really well and it always irritated my armpits it was like exfoliating your armpits every single day and it just hurt and it gave me way too many ingrown hairs in my armpits and I shaved my armpits so <laughs> nope nope mm -mm, no all right let's talk about the few makeup -y items I have and then we'll get right into skincare. I only have like two makeup items. Of course I ran out of my CoverGirl Ultra Fine Brow Pencil in the shade Rich Brown. It's like covered in cat hair. <laughs> Completely ran out of this stuff. It's amazing. It's under 10 bucks and I I love it. It's like what's on my brows now but this is in soft brown. I did like Rich Brown but I noticed that I had to have a really light hand with it or it got too out of hand. My eyebrows are already too dark for my hair now, so I might be going to a lighter color, but I like these. I mean, most people I know that have tried these really like them, so. And then I finally went through an entire setting spray, which doesn't seem like a hard thing to do, but for some reason, when I get to a certain point, like, when there's about an inch left in the container, I don't use it, because I'm like, oh, I'm gonna run out, I'm gonna run out, I'm gonna run out. Oh, will I repurchase? Yes. Already have been. <laughs> um, it's the Make It Last number three. The like the original original, completely out. I liked it. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna repurchase it right this minute. I think I would eventually repurchase it, but I've got a bunch of setting sprays I gotta get through. So yes, but here's my thing. This whole thing is ten dollars for like two ounces. It's not a great, great deal. I finished up the Hydrating Mookie Mist by Pixie. I love this stuff. I've already repurchased it. I will continue to repurchase it. I don't know why I didn't use it before. Um, I'm trying to go through another mist, probably another couple mists before I use this in my skincare again. But I do like this before makeup um, and in my skincare routine. Usually, I'll do my toner, my essence, and then I'll spray a mist over, and then I'll do all my serums and everything. Um, that's just how I like to do it, and if I'm not moisturized enough, when, enough, when I'm done with my skincare, I'll just spritz again before I go to bed. I finally went through an entire micellar 
water container. This is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water, the all-in-one mattifying. It's oily, even sensitive. It's the green lid. This took me forever to go through. And I do think I would repurchase it. This shit hurted when it got in my eyes. I don't know if I'm ever gonna repurchase this specific one. I think all my cellar water does the same freaking thing. Um, but I am gonna do the Bioderma. I'm gonna try the pink lidded one. For serum, I bought this off Amazon. I got one of those like dermaplane rollers for your face. And this came with it. It's a vitamin C 20% hyaluronic acid facial serum. I do really like it. It claims to be cruelty free. Um, it's good for 12 months. This thing lasted me like, like seven or eight months, which I think is pretty good for. This is what it looks like. I did really like this. I think the vitamin C in this helped clear up my skin. But I do think it went bad because. It already kind of had like a weird smell, like not a weird smell, but something that I'm not used to for skincare. And then as I got to the bottom of it, it just started smelling real funky, so. But I really liked this. I like to literally beat the crap out of it to get all those oxygen bubbles going. I don't know if it did anything. I really liked what it did in my skin. I don't even know if it did anything. Um, so I don't know if I'll be repurchasing this one. But I do like having vitamin C in my skincare and I kind of haven't really had it in my skincare in a while and I kind of really wish I had it in my skincare still. But vitamin C does go bad fast, so if you go through serums really quickly, I think you'll really like this. Um, I'm just not entirely sure if it's the best, honestly. Like, it did its job when it was fresh and then as it got older I was kind of like, oh, we should be using this. I mean, it didn't give me a reaction or break me out or do anything weird, but it just didn't smell great. And then I have this e.l.f. Prep and Hydrate Balm, which I completely used up. It was eight bucks. You're supposed to use it like before you put your makeup on because it's a prep and hydrate balm, but I got it more as something to throw in my purse on days like this where I'm literally just wearing brows and mascara when my skin feels real dry to just rub it on and do it up and make it more moisturized. I love this stuff. I will be repurchasing this. I'm just, again, I'm trying to kind of use up some of the things that I have before I go make another big elf order, which they always do buy one get one half and that's how I got this one. This lasted me probably like four or six months, like four to six months, I feel like is a pretty good time for a stick. Because I actually started implementing it into my skincare because I just loved it so much and it didn't break me out or do anything funky to my skin. So if you're really looking for something that's more in a stick form to throw in your purse to keep on the go when you're not like wearing a full face to just keep you hydrated or to even just prep your skin before makeup if you have um, dry skin, which I don't. I have very dehydrated oily skin so I liked to have the option of just having something quick and easy when my face was just like not having it <laughs> which my skin really isn't having it now that I was in the desert for like two and a half weeks love that for me okay uh, this is just a face razor if you don't shave your face that's cool but um, I like to shave my face which I haven't done in a while and I got peach fuzz everywhere so if you're interested in seeing a video in that let me know there are plenty on YouTube um, but yeah, I basically only use face razors like two or three times and then they just get so dull that they don't actually cut your hair and it's just whatever. I like it because it scrapes off that top. Like especially if you're going to do a mask or heavily hydrate, if you can scrape off all of that hair and that first layer of dead skin, I think it really helps your skin absorb everything and it penetrates deeper, so I like that. Okay. This is the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Balm. This was a sample and I used it completely up. Like it's gone. I loved it, I will repurchase that. Just again, I have other lip balms I'm trying to use before I purchase that. Okay, so last but not least, this is my Red or Die. If someone literally just walked in my room and took 
all my skincare and I had to go to Sephora and repurchase something and I only had $45. The one thing I would purchase is the Ole Hendrickson Banana Bright Eye Cream. This shit is amazing. It helps with your deep circles. It helps with your creases. You can put it on before makeup. It makes your concealer just go on smooth. It helps not crease it as much. I mean, if you have creases, it's going to crease. But it kind of helps as just a little layer to kind of keep your concealer right where it should be. Um, I love this stuff. It's a holy grail. It's a staple. I know when I don't use it, I can tell. And I'm only 21, but I don't think it could hurt. Like, it, it's not going to hurt. This retails for like $38 and you get um, half an ounce. Okay, I'm really sorry my camera battery died and I don't have any charge so I'm just going to finish this up on my phone and hopefully it doesn't look too weird but and Monkey is sleeping here very comfortably and I don't want to disrupt her so gotta do what you gotta do, am I right? Okay, like I was saying, um, most of my products that I've used up I will probably purchase, repurchase again if I haven't already. I did repurchase this eye cream, by the way, I didn't mention that. I just purchased a mini one because this is half an ounce and it took me forever to go through it and I think the vitamin C started to go bad. So I just purchased a mini one and if I go through that one really fast, um, maybe I won't purchase the mini one again. I don't know. I just feel like this is a lot. I got this sent to me by influencer a couple months ago. So, I've had it for a while and it took me forever to go through it, but I freaking love it. Like, when it first released. I got this before it actually released, too, so. I've had it for a while. I really love it. I really enjoy it. If you're looking for a bomb, 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 bomb eye cream, I would definitely recommend that one. Um, I really haven't tried any other eye cream, so I don't have a lot. Sorry, I'm like shaking too. So I don't have a lot of experience in picking out eye creams, but I do really love that one. So, yeah. Okay. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. If not, just glad you watched it. Glad you made it through the end. Um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. They are both sassy sky s-a-s-s-y-s-k-y-e underscore so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i love ya i will see you in my next one bye i hope you guys enjoy monkey in my videos she's not going anywhere unless she doesn't want to film with me because sometimes she gets a little camera shy which is fine don't scare the fuck out of me i can't film the dog so i can barking Fucking shut up, for the love of God. Dusty! It would be this banana, 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 monkey, did you hear that? I said banana. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. It is after nine o'clock at night. I need to turn my lights down, lay down, go to bed. I didn't get much sleep last night. It's my first day back from vacation. <laughs>